Large venues require the use of speaker arrays, which consist of speakers stacked in a column and topped by a bumper. Up to three different types of speakers can be included in an array. The speakers can each be tilted differently to provide maximum audio coverage for the audience. The speaker array tool is found in the event design tool set. In this example and demonstration of settings, we will be using generic speakers. If you are looking to use manufacturer-specific speakers in our libraries, please make sure to see the speaker libraries video. Similar to other tools, we have different insertion options found in the toolbar to choose if we want to insert the speaker array into walls or based on the left, center, right, or offset point. When first placing a speaker array into the drawing, we will be prompted with the object properties dialog. I am going to click OK on this dialog as the same settings can be adjusted through the object info palette. Before going over the object info palette settings, let's jump into the configuration of the speaker array. Bumper will allow us to configure the bumper for the speaker array. In the definition section, we can select a specific bumper and input a specific brand and model. In the attributes settings, we can adjust the size and weight of the bumper. When extension bar or bars are present on the bumper to assist with balance and focus of the speaker array, select center for one in the center or sides for bars on each side of the bumper. The Showing Rigging Guides section indicates the approximate placement of motors. The number and location of rigging guides depends on the presence of extension bars. Speaker A through Speaker C are where we can select the different types of speakers to be added to the array. In the top left, we can choose the specific type of speaker. The options to the right are the same as the settings found on the speaker objects. If you wanted to cover these in more detail, please see the speaker tool video. The array tab is where we will build the speaker array. Array support specifies how the speaker array is supported. Flown motors, flown crank lift, ground stacked or tripod. Flown arrays place the speaker below the bumper. Ground stacked arrays are inserted above the bumper. Arrays supported by a tripod do not include a bumper. Bumper angle sets the angle of the bumper, establishing a starting angle for the top mounting. This does not apply to tripod-supported arrays. First speaker shift controls the offset of the speaker stack from the bumper. Enter a positive value to shift the speaker stack toward the rear of the bumper. Enter a negative value to offset the speaker stack towards the front of the bumper. Bumper and speaker types to add is where we will find the bumper and up to three speakers we selected in the initial four tabs. Highlight the speaker or bumper we want to add and click the Add slash Swap Bumpers or Speakers button. This will add the speaker to the array on the left and to the preview on the right. Add a few items to the array. Once a few items are added, we can swap out specific items by highlighting them on the left hand side and choosing the item to replace it on the right-hand list and clicking Add slash Swap Bumpers or Speakers. We can also delete items from the array by highlighting the items in the list on the left and clicking Delete Bumpers or Speakers. Multiple items can be selected in the left list at once to have their settings adjusted in bulk. Angle relative to preceding allows the speakers to be set on an angle compared to the speaker preceding it. Rack allows us to enter notes about the rack driving the speaker. Driveline indicates information about the driveline feeding signal to the speaker. Bumper and speaker counts will give us a count of each item that is currently added to the array. We will click OK out of the Array Detail and Configuration dialog and now look at the additional options found in the Object Info Palette. The first option that you will likely want to adjust is the Populate Array option. After configuring the array in the Array, Detail, and Configuration dialog, the speakers do not actually appear on the array in the design layer until this button is clicked. We will cover the rest of the options from the top. The Array Detail options include Column ID, Location, Purpose, Rack, Driveline, and Note. These are fields that can be added to the array for text on the design layer along with details that can be pulled into reports. Current Types is a section that covers the types of bumpers and speakers that were selected. Listening Height through Show Dispersion Hatch are settings that are covered in the speakers video. 
Show rigging guides displays the guides, which indicate the approximate location of the motors on the bumper. Text options allow us to choose which values we want to display on the speaker in the design layer. Only fields with data entered will be available here. Classes allow for specific prefixes or classes to be applied to the speakers and their parts. For most changes to the speaker arrays, we should see the changes right away. However, for specific changes such as classes, we will need to use the Update button here to push the changes to the selected speakers. The final section for load information is used for Bracework's calculations.